Okay, so moving on to our next example. So, yun example natin is difference of two cubes. Ngayon naman is sum of two cubes. Bakit sum? Kasi plus po yung fundamental operation na inilagay natin or addition. Okay, kaya sinasabi natin siyang sum of two cubes. Okay? And then, eto, madali lang din to. Huwag kayo malito daw. Kagaya lang din ng process kanina. Okay? So, the first step is to express each term to the power of 3. Or, pwede din naman, kuhanin mo lang yung cube root netong dalawang to. Para makuha mo si A, tsaka si B. Para ma-substitute mo siya dito sa ating form na nakalagay dito sa taas. Okay? So, definitely, ganun lang talaga siya. Kasimple. Medyo nakakalito lang kasi madaming numbers, madaming um, sign, addition, subtraction. But then again, kayang-kaya nyo to. Okay? So, first step is to get or um, express this to the power of 3. Okay? So, kuha lang natin, kuhanin lang natin to. Lagay lang tayo dito ng 3 plus 3. Okay? So, we have here 8a raised to 6. Okay? So, when we express 8 to the power of 3, or kapag kinuha natin ang cube root ng 8, that is, of course, 2. Kasi, 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8. Tatlong beses natin minultiply ang 2, the answer is 8. Therefore, 8 is a perfect cube. Right? And then, itong si A, ayan, kunin lang natin to. What are we going to do is, i-divide mo lang itong exponent. Ito yung tip ha, para mas madali kayong makapag-express um, ng mga exponents, no? Um, 6 divided by 3. So, may tawag dito eh. So, kung familiar kayo sa power rule ng dalawa of exponent, ganito lang yun kadali, no? So, kailangan alam nyo din yun. Ilalagay ko dito sa um, taas yung link na tutorial ko about the law of exponent. Power rule. So, i-divide mo lang to. 6 divided by 3, that is 2. Therefore, dito mo yan ilalagay. Kasi nga, 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. Kasi tatlong beses mo sila yung multiply, eh, di ba? A squared times A squared times A squared, that is 8 raised to 6. Kasi 2 plus 2 plus 2 is 6, di ba? Kapag magta-times tayo or magmumultiply ng exponent or variable or exponent, we're just going to add the exponent. Kaya A raised to 6 yan. A, A raised to 6 yung inahanap natin. So that is how are we going to express A to the power of 3 or how are we going to get the cube root of each number or terms na mayroon sa given. Okay? So, si 27, kung alam nyo yung pinaka-root or cube root ni 27, of course, that is 3. Kasi 3 raised to 3 is 27. Right? So, kaya nga sinasabi ko sa inyo na kailangan alam nyo din kung paano ba um, nag-work si perfect cube. Okay? So, maglalagay ako dito ng list na perfect cubes. Ayan. So, para may idea kayo kung ano-ano ba yung mga numbers na mayroong perfect cube. Basta lang naman numbers na i-multiply mo tatlong beses, yung sagot doon, that is a perfect cube. And yung pinaka root niya is yung number itself na minultiply nyo na tatlong beses. Okay? So, therefore, ito na yung ating A and ito yung B. So, syempre, hindi nakasali si 3. Hindi nakasali si 3. That is 2A squared tsaka 3. And then, ilagay lang natin ito dito sa ating um, factored form ng um, sum of 2 cubes. Ito. And then, we have A plus B. So, ang ating A is 2A squared. Add lang natin. Plus, ano ba ang ating B? That is 3. Ayan. Ito na yung first factor. Yung second factor natin is, of course, etong chinong yan. Diba? So, square lang daw natin si first term or si letter A. So, that is 2A squared raised to 2. Ayan. Kunin lang natin yan. Okay? So, huwag kayong malilito kung bakit may, may exponent of 2 pa din dito. And dito, kasi nga, yung ating nakuhang A is mayroong exponent of 2. And kailangan pa din natin siyang erase to 2 dito sa ating second factor. Okay? So, we have minus. Ayan. A times B. Multiply A to B. So, we have 2A squared times 3. Yan. And then, for the last term, we have B squared. Ang ating B ay 3. So, we have addition kasi plus yan. 3 squared or 3 raised to 2. And then, what are you going to do is to just simplify. Okay? 
So, itong 2a squared plus 3, okay na yan. Hindi na natin na disi-simplify. Ito yung ating first factor. Second factor, we have uh, 2a squared raised to 2. Therefore, we're going to multiply 2a squared to itself 2 times. Therefore, 2a squared times 2a squared is 4a raised to 4. Kasi nga, 2 times 2 is 4. And then, copy mo lang si variable a. And then, 2 times 2 is 4, no? So, kailangan mat marunong din kayo sa law of exponent, no? So, this is um, the power rule. Yan. Next, we have subtract 2a squared times 3. That is 6a squared, okay? And then, plus 3 times 3, kasi we have 3 raised to 2. Of course, that is 9. Therefore, um, nakuha na natin yung tamang sagot, which is um, the factored form of this polynomial in sum of two cubes is 2a squared plus 3 times 4a raised to 4 minus 6a raised to 2 plus 9. That is already the factored form of this polynomial. Okay? Ganun lang siya na simple. So, para malaman natin kung tama to, you try to check it and then i-comment mo yung sagot mo sa ating comment section below and then I will check it. Okay? Okay, so for the last example na tayo, no? so meron pa sana akong isa pang example kaya lang medyo napuno na yung memory card natin so hindi na kaya. Ito na lang, 1 plus x cube and y cube. Okay? So, syempre, same process lang. Kukunin lang natin yung cube root nitong dalawang terms natin or you're just going to express it to the power of 3. So, we have 1 raised to 3. Why? Kasi 1 times 1 times 1 that is 1. Diba? Kaya, 1 raised to 3 is of course 1. And then, express lang natin yung xy to the power of 3. x raised to 3. So, 3 divided by 3, that is 1. Therefore, x na lang yan. And 3 divided by 3 is also 1. Therefore, y na lang yan. And then, of course, we have our a and b. 1 and xy, ang ating a and b. And then, of course, um, we're just going to substitute the value of a and b na nakuha natin to the rule itself or the form ng ating factoring polynomials with sum and difference of two cubes. So, dahil ito ay sum of two cubes, what are we going to do is to use this, right? So, we have a plus b. Ang ating a is 1 plus xy kasi yung b natin ay xy times a raised to 2. Ang ating a raised to 2 is 1 raised to 2 minus a times b. So, ang ating a is 1 times xy alright plus b raised to 2. Ang ating b is xy. So, we have to raise it to 2. Okay? And then, just simplify. No, so, wala na tayo si simplify kay 1 plus xy. Ilagay na lang natin yun dyan. And then, 1 times 1 or 1 squared is of course equal to 1. Minus 1 times xy is of course xy. Diba? Ayan. I-multiply nyo lang dyan. No? So, palagi nyo lang tatandaan yung distributive property of equality or i-distribute nyo lang by means of multiplication. Okay? Plus, xy raised to 2, that is x squared and y squared. Kasi nga, 1, yan, meron yan, automatic may exponent na 1 yan, parehas, no? And 1 times 2 is 2, and 1 times 2 is 2, no? Kaya, meron tayong x squared and y squared. Therefore, the final answer is already this one. 1 plus xy times 1 minus xy plus x squared and y squared. Okay? Ganun lang kasimple ang pagpa-factor ng polynomials with sum and difference of two cubes. Alright? And that is all for this video. Thank you so much everyone for watching and of course, sana ay may natutunan kayo sa akin on how to factor polynomials with sum and difference of two cubes. Okay? So, meron pa tayong lesson 4 and 5 about factoring polynomials and um, sunod na lang 
uh, sila dito sa lesson na to after ko itong ma-upload um, saka ko pa lang sila i-film no so balikan niyo muna yung um, dalawang lesson na na una before yung lesson natin ngayon para naman mas uh, may better understanding kayo on how factoring polynomials works Okay, so again, thank you so much everyone. And please, huwag nyo kalimutang mag-subscribe. I-like tong video. I-hit yung notification bell down below para naman sa lagi kayo updated sa mga bago kong in-upload, mga bago nating tutorials dito sa ating YouTube channel. So always remember to make your day productive by gaining knowledge. Again, this is me, Ma'am Marielle. And see you on my next video. Thank you so much and God bless everyone.